Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Yeah, you're going to need the screwdriver. Don't over there, Jane. <laughs> and I just noticed we're a little bit squiffy this morning. Oh, how are you all this morning? Are you well? Um, we had a lovely start to the day, didn't we, Jane? Oh, absolutely. I don't know if you had it last night. We had a biblical storm here, didn't we? Well, I yes, by what was, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, so we came in. I say we. Jane got here first. Well done, Jane. Um, <laughs> <laughs> swiftly followed by myself um, to find what I can only describe as actually I don't really want to describe no, it no I wouldn't describe no. it an explosion of epic proportions <laughs> that had in the sink yeah that had come back up yes it, it, imagine the exorcist in drain form yes I'm just glad sink. nobody was here because could you it imagine would have been, if you'd have been standing over the sink it would have been one shocking could you imagine if Gemma had been doing the washing up oh my gosh boom um, so that was fun it was up the walls up the fridge on the floor that do dishes have bleached every surface this morning so um we've had all the fun I went and filled the kettle from the bathroom sink think, thinking mm, I think I'll have a coffee then work out what I'm going to do about this <laughs> <laughs> and then I arrived and you just went and had a coffee. It was fine. Yeah, I mean, you didn't have to do anything, did well, you? You just sort that one out yeah. last time. Thanks. Oh, <laughs> the perks. <laughs> the perks. I did send our cleaner a picture and go, bet you please it's not your day today, <laughs> aren't you? She's like, yep. Yeah. Oh, God. Absolutely. So, good morning. Uh, I hope you're having a better day than we are. Oh, have all the fun. We, we always There's have all the fun. There's never a dull fun. day, is there? Never. Never a dull you day. You might yearn for one. <laughs> Um, right, today we have Jane's a beautiful tiptoe through, through the, the tulips. tulips, which half of the crew was too young to remember. SJ went, oh, that's a nice name. Well, it was so funny because Gemma and I are always singing songs to each always. other. Any word and it sets off a song. Yes. So I went, oh, shall I call it tiptoe through the tulips? And she just looked at me and I was like, oh, you don't know that song, Glenn? <laughs> on your own, Jane! Feeling really on your own. silly! <laughs> <laughs> um, and then it turns out only people over 50 know that song. <laughs> I mean, wow. <laughs> I was just like, oh, okay, I'll go then. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is one of those moments, isn't it, where you yeah, yeah, it's just like, I'll get my coat. Yeah, I'll it's go fine. now. It's, it's like it's tumbleweed just went through the warehouse. <laughs> At least it was tumbleweed. <laughs> yes. Worst stuff has yes. occurred in our I was going to say, morning. at least yep. it was last week. Yeah. And thank goodness it was nowhere near uh, the fabric. That was the other thing. Oh, gosh. Yes. Gemma and I sort of went, oh, yeah, quite glad that wasn't there. Yeah. Could you imagine? Oh, turn the volume down. <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> you don't want to um, hear me singing again. I, I would love that, That's set all the dogs in the neighbourhood off. <laughs> Everybody's dogs <laughs> go, What? <laughs> beautiful thing but this is a beautiful thing absolutely beautiful it thing it's gorgeous fabric i mean you, you start well i do i start with the fabric that was what happened wasn't it yeah um so i ordered it i ordered my favorite bits of the collection i didn't order the whole collection i went i like this this and this and this and this so we will mostly have that yes um and luckily you went oh <laughs> yeah. I mean, can um, i have that <laughs> yeah so we do have a little bit of the tulip collection for you to order by the half meter yes this is premium motor fabric this is 7.95 per half meter i think it's that one that's gone into all the kits the others are all of it so it's just this one here yeah. it's kind of like a paisley yeah well you're going to show everybody aren't you yes, anyway i'll show you close-ups of the fabrics when we go through the kit we have got all sorts of fabrics for you today um we've cut half meat heavens for this week and next they've got a little bit mixed up so i'm just going to show you them all and you're going to have to see which ones go live this week and which yes. ones are going live next week and being added to just because i haven't had time because you know i've had my head in a drain <laughs> it a bit, took a little while this morning I will say it before anybody else does that, you know, I was once upon a time the international face of a drainage company. <laughs> Some people get L'Oreal, I get drains. Um, so there's nothing new there, really. Uh, so, 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 there's another story in there, isn't there, Jane? Um, I forgot to tell everybody about this yesterday. You know how we've got birthday deals galore? Yes. Um, and SJ and I got a little bit silly on prices. I'm blaming SJ, can you see? Because Gemma wasn't, mm -hmm. she wasn't present for that. Where were you? Where were you? Where, Where were, were 
weren't you? Mm. Were you eating cake or something? No, I think I was probably shenanigating other things. Mm. Mm. She's on the floor at the moment. Why are you doing on the floor? It's cool down here. Okay. I was just going to say, I'm just, is the fan it's plugged in? No, it's yeah, not. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's winding group. Heat rises. <laughs> She was, she's the scientist in her. She likes you to be correct. Yeah. Now, I love this. This is so pretty. We have got, this is one of those panels. I really wished I'd had one of these. I was that mother that didn't know where to get hold of one of these and really wanted one. Yes. And then you can make little circles or to be honest, you know the, um, the round bits that you use on your curtain rails? Yes. Blink, blink, rings. blink. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Or just a little, a little cracker or something nappy yes. pin underneath to highlight the day weeks months years and then you plonk baby in there do you consider right for a puppy as well might work <laughs> be gorgeous um this is from the little ducklings collection we have had gosh we had the entire collection and some with yeah, this we, did. we really did we did and um, we had a lovely um set of things didn't we, we did going with it this is the fat eighth bundle you are going to get that's the entire collection yeah it is isn't it a fat eight of each Look at <coughs> it all. oh bless you jim all of it all of it in there so you could either do a, a quilted a quilt have this as the back of a quilt yes wouldn't that be stunning um i think i've got three of these but i've got more of these panels right. but they are all on a ridiculously low price now if you love today's make, Jane, today's make, yes. what does it take? Does it take fat quarters, fat eighths? What does it take? There's a combination of fat quarters and other pieces. So the Thule, yes. the fat quarter bundle, 13 piece fat quarter bundle. I love this. Yeah, you'd, so be, you'd be able to work it through and Absolutely. change the, the colourway slightly, but yeah, you could use a bundle. Um, and just look, it's just joyful colours. It is, it's so spring-like, isn't it? And we've it? taken, oh, Gemma, is it something ridiculous, like 20 quid off it? It's something ridiculous. It's got, she, she's given me the finger of, hang on. <laughs> and also the Wait same, um, the same with the Love Note Fat Eighth bundle. The All Love of Note's those. so pretty. It's incredibly gorgeous. Um, and again, that's got a massive discount on. 15 pounds off that. 15 off pounds the, off. Oh, off the cloth works that and then how much off the moda because again i've got like screwy diddly bits oh uh, this is the show to show you because you're quarters so you, this will appeal yes what how much 20 20 off this one i knew there was 20 off something 20 pounds off this one those. you bought these didn't you yes kicking yeah now. i know 15 <laughs> off that i got it while it was going because i was like that's not gonna last long how much was it well yeah there's like two left that's it yeah um how much is left on these how much is off off on these rather Little ducklings. Yeah, little ducklings. Gemma is frantically tippity tippity tappity tappity tappity. Um, so if you want these guys, when they are gone, they are gone. By the way, that's it. That is it. The end. Those fat eighth bundles are great because you get a bit of the full collection, and you can do quite a lot with a fat eighth. You can do a lot. You really yeah. Over twenty pounds. Over twenty pounds off this bundle. There you go. So, so it's almost like getting the panel free. Twenty one pounds. Twenty one pounds. Amazing. So I'm just throwing it out there that there is that to consider. Um, for those of you that are wondering what's going to happen next week, we'll make this. I That's rather love we'll this. Yes. I said put, you put the picture on last night and I was like, um, I like that. <laughs> it's like, you could do so much with that bag. Do you know what as well? Because look, it's nice and roomy. It's really roomy. And... Could you can shove all your stuff in there. Yeah. I'm all for shoving all your stuff everywhere. And it's drawstring, but not, you know, sometimes drawstring's quite difficult. Yes, and also it gets a bit bulky at the top, no. doesn't it? Sometimes that no, doesn't, no, no. because that's lovely and ruby. Room McRoomster. Um, and I've got these kits in all sorts of beautiful, beautiful mm. bundles, because um, that's what I did yesterday. I just love that. Metallic P is beautiful. We had so much fun picking the bundles yes. for it. It was just, yeah. it was yeah. lovely. Um, for those of you that managed to get hold of the bundles that we did with the denim and everything yesterday, congratulations, Inga is busy chopping those up today. Yes. I'm going to say hello to everybody, Jane, and That's then we're nice going idea. to, um, I'm going to drag that box of um, bolt ends 
is bolt end day. Gemma is loading bolt ends. Yesterday I went through William Morris, the linen, you know the cottage linen, cottage linen, linen because we had, we just had a, some of the, like the ditsies, which yes. would be perfect quilt backs. Absolutely. Um, so we've got, oh, hang on, I don't know, I'm getting rid of that. Should we just say hello? Let's just, let's just say hello. Good morning, Elizabeth Crangle. She's there. Bright morning, and early, Lizzie. along with your mother. Hi, Mum. Good morning, Kate. Good morning, Jenny. Good morning, Jane. Good morning, Karen. Morning, lovely girls. Can't stay all morning. Off to the hairdressers for a bit of pampering. Karen, enjoy that. But do also check out our bolt ends because a lot of them are in three metre increments, you know, enough for a dress. Just saying. Uh, morning, Kirsty. She's morning, ladies. So much fresher today. Might get in our conservatory later and get some sewing started. My conservatory is just full of washing because there's no, I'm not putting the table dryer on. No. No, no, no. Um, good morning, is, Anne. She's going to have to catch up later. You're going to have to. You're going to have to. Um, Elizabeth just says, huh, kids. What do we say about kids? Don't I don't know. know. Do you know? Oh, maybe because I said that nobody under 50 knew what tiptoe through the tulips was. Oh, yeah. That's it. Morning, Yumi. Um, let's all have a great day. Uh, of course, we are. Natasha makes us here. That's exactly what we thought, wasn't it, when yes. we came into an exploded drain? Let's have a great day. Morning, Jackie. Morning, Rose. Good morning, Jan. Rose, do you know what? I was um, I was so touched by your email. Thank you so much when I was travelling through France. Good morning, Michelle. Good morning, Lo. Oh, working. Uh, packing for Rewind. Ironing clothes. Why are you ironing clothes? You're only going to fold them again. What's that all about? <laughs> um, five litres of gin. Oh, OK. And this is more This is more the packing that I was expe uh, <laughs> expecting from you. Espresso martinis, porcelain martinis, and three litres of Bacardi packed. It's going to be a good one. Yeah. I'd say. Um, oh, it's rainy in France. Morning, Viv. Morning, Joy. Morning, Roma. Morning, Ginny. Uh, Ginny? Jimmy. I don't know if Ginny's watching as well. Morning, Grace. Um, and Lisa, good morning. Becky says, oh, ladies. You're making me laugh so much. Thank you. That's a lovely distraction. My fur baby has gone to the vets tonight. Oh, I has to go to the vets tonight. Oh no, and her heart. Oh no, not at oh no. Oh, oh, oh. If it can get better, I hope it gets better. Um, morning, Laurie. How the devil are you, my love? It's lovely to have Laurie with us. She's back from the States. Yes. Safely home again. Morning, Francis. Morning, Helen. Um, Karen says she knows that song. Thanks, Karen. She says, I don't know why I know it by now. No. Mm. Oh, she's too young to know it, according mm. to the demographic within the warehouse. <laughs> morning, Sharon. Morning, Barbara. Do you know what we I have? only knew it because my granddad used to sing oh, it with excuses, me. excuses. Excuses. That's what <laughs> I'm saying. <laughs> the fact it was a hit in 1968. <laughs> Tiny Tim. And Quite he young. sang like that, that high, mm. like, Joan Grenfell type really? voice. <laughs> I thought Tiny Tim was in A Christmas Carol. I'm <laughs> very confused. Morning, Pam. She says she loves your tulip quilt. Thank morning, you, Diane. Morning, Patricia. We've only got a handful of those, haven't we? Yes. Yeah. Um, morning, Patricia. Morning, Lynn. Morning. Um, oh, hot air rises, not heat. She says she keeps telling John. You and Inga uh, would get on very well, Elizabeth. We Mor know this, Elizabeth. We just do it to just wind mm. Inga up. Because yeah. it's one of those things. You know when you, you know can. something that sets people off that yeah. sets Inga off <laughs> it's basically it. like being married <laughs> yeah all of us isn't it yes. yeah uh morning michelle she's morning beautiful ladies why has our video been interrupted it's been paused what? should resume shortly it's saying here oh oh no there we go maybe that was my sinking <laughs> we don't know <laughs> i won't don't do it know. again i promise ever <laughs> um how does jane keep coming up with these beautiful quilts says laurie I don't know, Laurie. Sometimes I wonder myself. I do do a lot of research. I go through, I've got lots of books and magazines. I've got um, a really old book that's got lots of um, pattern blocks in. So I'll flick through there and get inspiration. Sometimes I'll start one way and it just leads me another. So in, um, Gemma and Natasha will tell you I've got a checked a squared pad, haven't I? And yeah, I'm always yeah, yeah. Scribbling, scribbling in there. Yeah, but I quite often get inspired by the fabric. So like tulips, I've got quite a few tulip inspired blocks that I know to, that I can go to and, and bring out. Yeah. Yeah. And waft around beautifully. Um, <laughs> Gemma keeps finding bolt ends, you know, the bolt, the middle, the, the, the cardboard bits yes. in the middle with various sketches on because I'll be doing something and then I'll, oh, I could just, yeah. 
and it gets written on those. Yeah. Pre I've got bits of paper all over yeah. the place. Um, <coughs> Anne says, didn't it used to be on Junior Choice on the radio? Probably, yes. Yes. There you go. That'd be a... actually didn't have an interruption on the stream her end. Okay, just me then. Um, and as I said, puppy, did you say puppy? We did say puppy, but only if you wanted, you could put a puppy on there. We don't have a puppy to no. put on there. No. <sighs> Working on that. Morning, Wendy. Um, not a good one. Oh, dear. She's just fallen over walking the dog. Oh, no. Oh. oh Do you know what? My mum's right. damaged herself more times walking the dog. Yeah. And getting off the sofa. She strained her thumb getting up off the sofa. Oh, my gosh. I know, quite extreme, this sofa <laughs> sitting. Um, walking the dog and landed on my right, my right shoulder. Ow. Try not to face plant on a rock. Well, at least you avoided the rock. Yeah. Decided the best thing to do is to stay on the sofa and watch you. I would agree. Don't yeah, go. rest yeah. today. Yeah, Just, yeah, yeah. yeah Bit of Arnica. Steady. Bit mm. of Arnica for the shock and bruising. Um, ba -ba 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 um, that bag would make a great gift for Christmas gifting food with toiletries. Yes, Karen, yes, it would. It would. Yes, 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 yes. Um, Elizabeth says she can't draw anything, even string. <laughs> Bless her. <laughs> uh, Leslie, let's look at the bag. This is all good. Um, this is all good because it's actually a very easy make. Oh, is it? That's yes. good. Like uh, easy make. Jenny says, watching on the TV today as hubby is on holiday. So please say hi uh, to Ian. Is He is having to watch it too. Morning! <laughs> Everyone else is saying, hi, Ian. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, it was a regular, yeah, on Radio 1's Junior Choice. Yes. That's what Kirsty said yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Morning, James. James has joined us as well. Um, look at Tiny Tim on YouTube and all will be revealed, yes. says your mother. Yeah. Um, yes, Helen, where have you been? She says, it's a long time since she's watched live. We have missed you, Helen. But it's nice to have you back. Uh, wherever you have been. Right, half me to heavens. Then I'm going to drag that big old box of stuff across here. Do you want me to drag it across while you go close up with the half meters? To start I mean, with, or just or just pick your favourites. I can if Gemma's finished. They're all I'll your favourites, aren't they, Jane? Well, That's this the is it. It's hard yeah. to choose. It's like which child do you like? There's no such thing as the what as a child you like. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Jane. <laughs> no, I love harsh. my children. Uh, <laughs> but I can't decide which one I love more. The one that's behaving. It's always my answer. Yes. That's the one. Um, we have got the Mosaic Circles Black with pomegranate. We have got eight of those. And then that bolt is done. Done, 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 done. Jane, was this the one that you did your um, carnival quilt, carnival yes, quilt with? with? the last little bit left from There you it. go. So if you want any more of that, we had an extra four metres left. So you can have um, some of those. Now, um... I've got two sets of this. This is your William Morris pink and rose with, look at that. This is it with moss, which I think looks beautiful, but I had also picked it out with, look at that. Just look at that, Jane. That would look beautiful together. So you have a choice. Yes. You have a choice, and it is. I didn't know whether because we only had a squiddly bit of this left. I didn't know whether to bolt end it or not. It just didn't make it into a quilt, did it? That was it just no. There didn't, was just there, there yeah. wasn't quite enough of anything to um, finish it I, off. There were just a couple of bolts that we just didn't use that much of in your beautiful William Morris quilt. Now this one is another William Morris that we've got. I put this with chartreuse. Beautiful chartreuse, which is rather lovely. Rather gorgeous. So we've got that for your delectation. Um, now, this is your Moda Nocturnal Rain Cloud with Misty Blue. I heart this one. VV match. I think it. I think it's a reactivated one, isn't it? Or Not sure. We've had it Not before. Sure. We've got it with Midnight in another colourway. So I would say that if you were, you know, looking at... Yeah, well, I put the four together thinking mm -hmm. the four would work nicely in a coat because that you've picked it yeah it's all merges beautifully because that midnight and misty blue look lovely together all of that all of that right now then um motor wildflowers with marine we only have six of these yeah and this might not actually get loaded to be honest after um all of the motor wildflowers got sold yesterday <laughs> 
with the denim. We'd already cut that, so we'd already cut it. So we'll see. Now this is the very last of the Tiny Beasts uh, One Man's Trash, and I've put it with raspberry. Beautiful. Look at Little him. Picks up his I legs. know you've got you've got the raccoon going through the bins. Who'd think that that would make fabulous fabric? And yet it does. He's got a lovely face. Look, because there, there's his apple. There's his apple core there. Did Karen make a dress out of this one? I can't remember. Which one it was now? It was one Bless of them. You. Excuse me. But anyway, that's then that one done. Um, now this one, Jane. Izzy said to me that's quite retro, Tash. I went, I know. Um, Lovely. It is that purple, and when you see it next to it, it really does pick it up. Yes. I love a swirly swirl. Do you know what, Errol, Gemma? This would look fabulous in Errol. I yes. know we would be introducing a bit of purple into the orange mm -hmm. delight that is Errol. <coughs> Excuse me. You've got fabric dust up your nose. You know when you start and you can't stop. Yeah. From the same collection, just so that you know, by the way, is this one. Can you see how the oranges all go? Yeah. But look. Oh. And because again, look. Nice. Like Super beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. So we've got those. Oh, the, from the same collection again is this one. Excuse me, it's the dust from the fabric. It just gets a little bit. Right. So again, 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 I've picked out the really deep orange there. But if you were going for all of those, that's rather bit, lovely. All from the same collection. Yeah. I just love the paisley. Love them. I love them. Now, this is the cottage linen closet. Okay, I've got seven of these with apple, and that is all that I have. Look at that. That is so pretty. I wanted to show you this actually on a close up because it's got like a white on white in there that just is really hard. You can't hard really to see it, can you? No. And it's, it's such a shame because it's, um, it's got roses. Such a like the outline of the pink flowers, isn't it? Tone on tone. It's got such a beautiful detailing in there. You're going to absolutely love it when you get it. And with the apple, lovely. Um, now, we put. Are you I all right? Know, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, in, yeah, just, just sneezing. Um, this one. I can't remember if we did this with a different colourway or not before. Can't remember. But I anyway, remember. it is Odile, and it is the beautiful snail. This would look really lovely on the inside of the of the um, of the little triangular pouches. Oh yes, wouldn't it? And of yeah. course, these are perfect for the triangular pouches. Just grab yourself some HH six fifty. Um, again, from the same collection. Do you know what I love about this fabric? The is black the print oh. on it. Well, yes, I love the salvage. Salvage, yeah. But the back black print is so intense. intense. It gives it almost a three dimensional effect. There's a a moth or something on here. You can just see it there. It's gorgeous, isn't it? And it really stands out on the fabric. It's amazing. It is a beaut, an absolute beaut. But the two of those together look stunning. They do, don't they? And so look, we've just gone different colours on that, but they would work together. We want to be together. And then last of modas. With oh, your it's a bit of classic strawberry safe, isn't that lovely? Now, I've put that with green and with pink before now, but then I went with terracotta this time and went, yes. Yes. So we've got quite a mix. A nice selection of scales well, of fabric and yeah, stuff there. Yeah, there are. Do you want to have, should we have a very, very, very quick squeeze? Gem, do you want these for loading? Do me to pass them? Yeah. Oh, I'll do, okay, so, bolt ends. I have got... William Morris Honeysuckle Bolt End. These are loaded today. Please keep checking back. Okay. From the collection that we've just been looking at with the Paisleys is your Paisley Rose by Crystal Manning. These are mode fabrics. Yeah. Aren't they? Uh, I've got three metres of that. I also have three metres of it in turquoise. So you see, they go very beautifully. Very, very beautifully. Um, um, and then your lattice floral. This is from the faded white linen. Again, this was which? Oh gosh, what was the name of the quilt that you did with this? 
Its name escaped Cottage me. Cottage Garden or something the like Cottage that. Cottage Garden. Something yes. like that it was, yes. Um, and it was just so stunning. Yeah. It had all the depth and the different... It was, it was just really beautiful. pretty. This is just going to be such a beautiful quilt backing. Um, so again, these are being loaded today. When they're gone, they're gone. Now this is a super wide, by the way. It's a half metre, that's all we've got left of the confetti in lime. That is a 108, okay? Now, also we've got from the Paisley Rodents, we've got it in fern as well. I just think these look great as... Because they are quilting weight cotton, use them for your backing for your quilts yes. or your dressmaking or whatever it is that you want. But also with these, what you have left just goes into your scrap to then bring yeah, out and it, add in. It work, tone on tones work so well as a, as a replacement Beautiful. to a solid. Of course they do. They give much more movement You see, look, quilt. that's from this collection here. <coughs> and it's just that the big standout ones have gone. Like That was the last of them in the Harvard yeah. Heavens. There's no point in just sitting on these. So, um, guys, that's why we've got these bolt ends for you. Uh, and also because I think these big prints make gorgeous backings. Absolutely. Or dresses or bags. Yeah. Honeysuckle William Morris, an absolute classic. They're also great when you've got a border on a quilt because you need quite a bit sometimes for a border. You can sometimes, yes. for a good size quilt, you can need at least sort of two metres, if not more. So well, having a big chunk of fabric in your stash maybe in a different colourway. Works really nicely. <coughs> da, 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 da. Yeah, you could make a really fun quilt with just the three fabrics there. I mean, you could do a lot. Um, now, this is also from the same collection, just so that you can see we've got this in a darker colourway as well. Um, again, this is all mode of fabric. These are bolt ends. These are three metre pieces. I love that just fabric. Beautiful. That is so pretty. It really is. I've got a three meter piece, another three meter piece of William Morris there for you, and then this one again. This was from the Crystal Manning one, which was. So as you can see, I've just gone through collections, going right. What just needs clearing? And as it's festival of quilts, and you know, I know that you guys, you you're concentrating on the front. Yes. But we want you to as well have a fabulous back. If you see what I mean. Yes. Yeah. Because we all need fabulous back. We do all need fabulous backs. So this is just some of the ones that we've got for you today. Gemma is frantically tippity tappity tippity tappity tippity tapping um, with her little nails there, which are fabulous. There are a couple where we've got a second piece of so this is bigger than three meters. Oh really? People want more for just making keep their eyes. Oh feet. okay. So there are a couple where we have slightly more. We don't yeah. It's just it's just what what we have. We don't have full collections left, so we're not able to make anything with them. No. But if anyone does need more than three meters, then there may be the odd one here and there. That is the I don't know if you can hear. So what Gemma's <laughs> saying, she's got her. I don't know. She's always oh got a teacher voice on, but yeah, she's got um, a very clear voice. <laughs> we've got so basically, uh, if we just explain the process behind it, we get collections with like the big wow prints and everything else. Yeah. By the time it gets to the ditzies, they work brilliantly as backings, but unless we've if we've run out of the feature fabrics. Yeah, what do we do with do them? And with especially them. if the colourways don't necessarily work with other things that we've got, you might have others at home or whatever, but we, it just... It can sit on the shelf yeah. for a long time, can't it? So I would rather that you guys got large amounts of fabrics to either dress mate with or back your quilts with, because I know we spend a lot on the front, and then you have to sort of take a bit of a gulp to cover the back. Yeah. So let's give you beautiful fabrics of the same quality as the front, Yes, because it, it a bit can of a make discount. the difference. Yeah. You know, s sometimes if you use more economical fabric, it's a little bit looser woven and it can affect it when it comes to the quilting. Exactly, all of that. So um, that's why we have gone with Moders, William Morris, all the goodies for you here today, because also we know that we're celebrating Festival of Quilts this week. Yes. So for you quilters, these are just perfect. I'm going to take some of these and go and sit over there, Jane, so that you can do your thing. I'm going to put my phone in my pocket. I'm going to take this and see if I don't drop it. Yes. I mean, I may. Might. Might not. Who knows? Here we go. <laughs> Double or drop. Ah, now show us, show us, Jane, the collection. What have we got today? There we go. This is this beautiful, um, I can't even remember, because I've been calling it Tiptoe Through the Tulips. That's all that's in my head. And it's actually Tulip Tango, Tulip Tango <laughs> by Robin Pickens for Moda. It's Moda fabric. 
so we all know good quality lovely base cloth beautiful colors printing um, we've got two large scale prints and then we've got two paisleys and this lovely um, it's called butterflies butterfly something I can't remember what it's called and the bolt ends not facing me um, and it's like a tone on tone, but it's got the tulips and butterflies on it, it's like a sketch. So it's it's lovely green with a um, not quite white sketchy pattern. And then we've got two Makawa linen texture fabrics. And this is a red, but it's it's quite a pinky tone red, and it just blends beautifully with the large scale prints on those fabrics. So it was the right one, wasn't it? We yeah, went through it was and, went just and we sort of high fived each other because we found yeah. it and went, "That is the that's one. perfect." Um, now, Jane, just very, very quickly to interrupt you, I'm very, very sorry. Right, um, some people have these in up their baskets or bolt ends or whatever in their baskets. They're yes. saying, "Do they still qualify for the free half meter?" Yes, yes, yes you, you do. do. Now, Jane, because you <laughs> are the one that in the morning comes in and goes through our customer service emails, yes. can you please tell everybody what it is they need to do? What is the most common question that you get asked? I quite often say, get emails saying the code hasn't worked. Right. I've put £50 worth of goods in my basket mm -hmm. or more. Mm -hmm. I've put the code in mm -hmm. and it's saying this offer is not available. Right. And it's generally because they haven't selected the product. There is a product called Mystery Half Meter of Designer Fabric. You have to select that product and put it in your basket. Now you might go, oh, but it's charging me. Well, as soon as you get to the checkout and you put the discount free half meter in the discount code, code box, yeah. it will take the price of that half meter off. There so you, you get your free half meter of designer fabric so in your order. That is, that is so what you guys select need to the consider. product, put yeah. it in your basket, then put the code in, then it'll give you a discount. Do its jobbins. Yeah. If you're just trying to put the code in, it won't accept it because there's nothing to take the discount from. Perfect. Perfect. Um, there you go. Lo says that she's just done that. Good. Hopefully that should work. So free half meter is the code that you put in after you've added the product in. It has to be over 50 pounds before the postage is added yes so yeah. that's that's the thing and before the, half and before the half meter is added yeah there we go i hope yep, yep. i hope that is clear as mud back to your beautiful bundle Jane. no problem so we've got but shall we go have a look at, a bit closer at these Ooh, lovely yes. fabrics because the main scale print we've got a fat quarter of each of these oh i've gone like, I'm sorry, I thought no, you wanted, right. when you said closer, I thought you meant like really close. There we go, look. It's a lovely, there's beautiful vibrancy in those. And you can see the tulips, they're open, they're in bud. They've got lovely vibrant green in there and that smidge of yellow, which really lightens it. That is the pink version. I think it's called pink. It's probably got Princess. a love princess. princess. Oh, princess. Emily would love that. Was it named by Emily? And then this is the, I think this is called cream. And that's cream like princess. Um, a linen. It's got linen like a, princess. Yeah, it's the colour is princess. And this is cream. And it's got like a little like speckledy dot linen effecty on the background, which is really rather pretty. It's the same print, just different background colour. I've put a fat quarter of each of those in the kit. Amazing. You might not want to use both. You might want to just do it with one. What would you happen can. then? Have you got enough? You've got enough to do the four okay. middles with one fat quarter. What, and then make a bag out the other one? And then use the other one for something else because you'll have a little bit of everything left over. Nice. This is the main print that I chose for the borders and around the block. And this is just, it's like a paisley, like Natasha says, with the tulips in. And again, this is cream. And it's got that speckledy, linen-y type effect on the back as well, background, which is lovely. So that's your big chunk. There's a metre of that in your kit. Nice. And then there's a fat quarter of the green, which is exactly the same, but in a green colourway. Love it. It's like a paisley. It's a paisley again with the tulips in. It's really pretty. Beautiful. Beautiful. And then, as I say, this one is called, I think it's called Butterflies Love or something like that. 
I mean, they probably do. Because it's just, it's a lovely overall and it's sort of like sketchy. Can we go close up on that one? Oh, Tasha? yes. Because it's really pretty. And I don't know, you can see the tulips on there, but there's butterflies in it. Just, so it's like a sketchy pattern, but it gives an overall tone of, of green. It's really pretty. Perfect. It's a lovely tone of green. It's sort of like an acidy, limey green, but... Mixed with a bit of apple. Yeah. Yes. Nice. But works beautifully with this lovely... And it's not pink, it's more of a red tone, but it's, it is very nice. So that's your kit. And then you get, as I say, you get three quarters of the Makawa Linen Effect Cream. There's a lot in here. And a fat quarter of the red. Beautiful. Yeah. It's a, it's a nice size kit. And it's not too over-facing either. It's, it's one that you can um, definitely quilt on your own machine. Yes, it's, it's, not a, it's not a, it doesn't make a big quilt. That quilt is 50, 58, I think. 48. It's a perfect mm -hmm. sofa, sofa one. Yeah, yeah. something 50, 50, it's not big. It's not big, it's less than, <laughs> it's less than 60. It's less not than big. 60. I've got 46 by 46. Yes, that probably but is But it is right. clever. So, yes, it's not big, but it is clever. So let's make the block. Should we'll we talk about that? the block, and because that, that's the most... Um, the rest is just strips and squares, so it's quite straightforward. So that's your block. Oh, Jane, look. And that's... I put the linen one in the middle of that one. Lovely. And as I say, there's enough. It's, you start off with an eight and a half square for that linen. That, that linen. So that's... Um, from your fat quarter you could get all four squares because you make four of these blocks nice. for the quilt so you could get it out of one fat quarter and save your other fat quarter for something else it's entirely up to you i chose to have the two fabrics in just to show them off so the first thing you'll need to do is you'll cut all your fabrics all the cutting instructions are in your um in your pattern We've got a flying geese unit. We've oh, got oh, half square hang on, triangles. Hang on, Jane. Sorry. You get, I changed that. I thought we were looking at patterns. <laughs> hang on. Hang on. There you go. We've got flying geese units and half square triangles and squares. There's a rectangle there with half square triangles on. It's not a difficult pattern. There's quite a bit of cutting, so go through it steadily. Read through your pattern first. Cup of tea time. Read through your pattern carefully so you understand the techniques and everything that's involved. And then when you do your cutting, just have little stacks with labels on. Just because you've got two and seven eighth squares and you've got two and a half inch squares that at first glance look very similar. Right. And if you get them muddled up, it causes confusion. Right. Just saying, you know, might have done that. Might have done that. Might have done, might that. Have done that. Yeah. So let's start with you'll cut your middle squares mm -hmm. we'll do the other colour way so that we can show how it goes together we'll start with the little corner square which is basically a stylized tulip flower it's a four patch you'll need one of your background squares one of your green and one of your colour yes that's not for that part this is for this part just remember what you're doing. Helps. <laughs> it's one of those things, isn't it? When it's done a little in advance, yes. I always forget. I'm already stressing about demoing my pouch for next week, my drawstring pouch, because I'm like, I'll have forgotten how I did it. Yeah. It's so easy. Yeah. It is so easy. So we're going to mark on the larger square, two and seven eighths, we're going to mark on the diagonal through the middle corner to corner put it right sides together mm -hmm. and we're going to sew quarter an inch either side there's a surprise I mean yeah you know it's like Why that's break the, habit? break the habit of a lifetime you can chain piece these of course because when you're doing your blocks you'll be doing quite a few and you just go down one side oh turn mm. it around and go up the other side. Right. And you can do that in a great big long chain and it takes moments. I just need to pop the iron on. I realise I didn't do that. No, the iron's on. Is it? Because I've been doing oh, stuff. Oh, yes, because you've been doing stuff. I've been, I've been doing morning. stuff. 
been prepping already. So I'm just going to press the seam under the red just because I don't want it showing through on the cream. There's no other reason than that. So you will have two half square triangles. So mm -hmm. for each of your corners, you are going to take one of your red squares and one of your cream squares and you're going to place your half square triangles like so. So you will have the long edge of the, of the, of the red against the cream and on against the red and you want the seam running towards the square each time and then you'll sew those against each other and again you can chain piece all of this you can do it in pairs which is what I'm going to do now because I've got some prepped already no oh, look at you blue Peter Jane <laughs> I'm going you to do the blue Peter Jane. All the cream ones. Make sure I've got all the cream Even ones. Even Gemma's given us a little thumbs up oh in yeah. the corner. <laughs> Love a blue Peter moment. I'm not normally organised enough to whip a blue Peter moment out. I did yesterday. You did. You did. I know. Oh, thanks, Gemma. Oh, thanks, Gemma. I'm just making sure when I put these together. That I've got my one, I've got my fabric the right side. This linen texture is quite in some light. You have to make sure that you've got it um, the right way up because the, the, the wrong side looks quite similar. Right. It is obvious when you really look, but um, at first glance, you just have to be sure that you've got it. We've all sewn a block on backwards before. Oh, yes. So that's all the cream ones done, so now I'm going to sew all the red ones. Beautiful. Oh, I'm having chair situations, Gemma. Oh, oh I know. Je Jane and I, Jane helped me choose the colours for my new chairs. <laughs> we were having great fun, weren't we? We were having great fun. Did They've been going with all the colours in the Well, end? not quite, but... I like to think of it as a veritable rainbow. Um, and yes, basically, yeah. Well, they've been delivered and I'm not there, am I? Aww. They've delivered them early and I'm here, not there. Oh dear. Yeah. Someone signed for them. I don't know who signed for them. <laughs> I'm trying to track down my chairs. <laughs> Could be anywhere. Somewhere, somewhere in Cornwall. <laughs> so, we've got all our red and all our cream sewn together with the half square triangle in pairs and we're just going to press those. Now I suggest that you press them towards the square just because Ooh. there's less seams and so it, it, it will press flatter. It will also mean that they will nestle together when you come to do the four patch which will give you nice crisp points. When I posted um. A picture of the block, part of the block. Somebody said, "Oh, points envy." <laughs> like, oh, lovely. we love a bit of point envy. <laughs> Did you have a very ever so slightly smug moment, James? Yes, just we slightly. It's like, <laughs> yes. I think it's like anything, isn't it? The more you do it, the more accurate you get. And if you've got a consistent quarter-inch seam, they all go together beautifully, anyway. So now we've got our sets of pairs. Nice. And we're going to place those together. So the cream squares on top of the red half square triangle and of the cream and the other opposite way. So you, your, your half square triangle either either on top or under your cream, or under your square rather, sorry. And again, we can join those together. Your seams will nestle. You like that? And these make your corner, your corner units, which sounds a bit strange, isn't it? Because yeah. we think of corner units, we think of furniture, but I could say corner squares, I suppose. 
but they're the corners of the block. There it goes, bit of chain piecing, lovely. And this, you know, it, it does make it come together quite quickly if you do do chain piecing. It's more economical with your threads. Just makes life a bit easier. And we can press those open. Really? Now that is a four patch and if you wanted to do the twiddle in the middle you can but I actually found <laughs> Sorry, Inga says the chairs are somewhere over the rainbow <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. no! Oh Inga no, that's Inga, no. bad And I'm actually pressing them towards the red square Just because and it will become clear why a little bit further down the line. So there's your four corner perfect units. Let's put those into position so you can see where they fit on there. And then we're going to do what I called the side units. And we'll do the flying geese first. So the, this is the flying geese unit that you make four in one go and there's no waste, which I love. I love this method. And it's the one that halfway through you're like, how on earth are these going to become flying oh, geese? Oh, these ones. We <laughs> love this one. It baffles everybody, even Every me. Time. I look and at I it and I'm like, I still don't know how, how that many works. Times. It's magic. So we're marking on the small, you get four small squares in the, in the pattern, it tells you exactly which squares to use. Your four small squares of your background fabric and the larger square of your pattern. And you're marking the diagonal line from corner to corner on those. You place two of the squares in opposite corners with the line going from corner to corner. Mm -hmm. They will overlap in the middle, they're meant to. It's um, your seam allowance. So don't think, oh no, I've got the wrong size square. They should overlap in the middle. That is the plan. Perfect. If they don't overlap, that's when you've got to think, actually, have I picked up the right size square? Because you will have smaller squares than these as well. This is why I say it's probably a good idea once you've done your cutting just to put a little note on the pile to remind yourself which size the square is. And then we're going to sew a quarter of an inch either side of that marked line. And again, for your blocks you'll have four sets of these so you could chain piece again, do them all in one go. What I would suggest though, if you're quite new to patchwork, mm -hmm. is that you do one block first. Right. Get an idea of how it all goes together and how all the pieces fit. Right. And then plough on and do all of them, the other three. I think sometimes it helps just to get the, the configuration of one block in your head and feel comfortable with it, particularly if you're quite a beginner. Yeah, it is. It's one of those things, isn't it? And I, and I think sometimes the thought of it is scarier than actually doing it. Yes. Um, so we've cut that in half along the mark line. And we're now going to press those small triangles up and away from the larger triangle that we've now created. And this is at the point where you think, what on earth yeah. are you talking about? Yeah, but we trust you. Because they look like little hearts, I think. Yes, they always do. Yeah, you've got those two. So you've got two units like that. Nice. So you take your other two squares and you place those in the corner of the large triangle with a diagonal line facing from the point of the corner up through. And again, you'll look at that and you'll think, well, 
that's too big but it isn't it's, again it's your seam allowance so it does need to come up and above the, the points and we're going to sew a quarter of an inch again either side of the line yeah it's still magic Jane <laughs> still magic and again we can chain piece all of these we can go down one side Elizabeth wants to make two and call it double dutch. Very good. Let's oh, Elizabeth, one. you're on form today. Yes. I love it. Oh, Karen's having her roots dealt with. Enjoy that. Is this, is this Karen from Wigan, Karen? Karen from Wigan. Because I just can see you making a dress out of the large scale print fabric. I mean, fabric. yes. Yes. It just, yes. When I was cutting it up, I was like, mm, this would make a Karen, gorgeous dress. Karen, Karen dress. And She's off to have her roots done, love. Lovely. More roots than a vegetable garden. Oh, that's me. I need to get my roots done as well. It's just nice going to the hairdressers and having a bit of time, isn't it? Just to sit and have your hair done. I love my hairdresser. Yes, I've been to the too. same hairdresser on and off since I was 18 years old. Wow. She's fabulous. She just, yeah, she's. So just somebody knows friend. your hair and you're confident in them, just doing what you know, what they want. I don't really get choice. She just does what she wants. So we've cut those units in half along the mark line, and we're going to press that small triangle up and away. And you can see now oh, that it's that so looks clever. like a flying geese unit, and you actually create four units. Yeah, Karen says, "Stop it, Jane!" <laughs> All <laughs> in one go. Karen. Would Karen need new shoes to go with it? Oh, I'm sure. Of course. I'm, yeah, I mean, I'm just saying, Karen. You know, whilst you're out getting your hair done, if you had having to go past a fabulous it's shoe just shop, twisted slightly there. You might need to get some new shoes to go with it. It's just a thought. Actually, the green paisley would look rather lovely as well, wouldn't it? Yes. In a dress as well. Yes. So there you are. You see, you make four flying geese units. Beautiful. All in one go. So we'll just put those to one side for a moment. And we're going to make some more half square triangles. This what? time, we're going to make them with the background fabric and the lovely um, green sketchy fabric with the butterflies on. So again, you've got your, side, your squares. Mark the diagonal line, corner to corner. Place it right sides together and so quarter of an inch either side. Ah, oh, Jimmy says, so that's how it's done. I was never able to have it come out right. Yeah, that's how it's done. That, you just need to watch Jane. She'll <laughs> learn you. She'll <laughs> learn you everything you need to know about quilting with our Jane. Oh, bless. And then on the days that she has off, occasionally we have to let her off. <laughs> we don't try and let her out that often, do we, to be fair? No. Uh, <laughs> poor Jane. She's like, I don't. well, yeah, because then I have to try and quilt. And I'm, I'm more of a, like you guys, I like to home quilt. Don't necessarily like to be, you know, under scrutiny yes. whilst quilting. Bish bash tash. Bish bash tash, yeah. Well, yes. Yeah, so we're going to press those. And again, we're pressing them so that the seam falls underneath the, the patterned fabric. She is a clever girl, our Jane. Lizzie, you are quite right. Morning, Val. Oop. It's just gone. You know who's very quiet today that we don't seem to have? And there's that, that there, Claire Angelina. She normally likes to yes. have a little comment about the, um, the quilt. half square triangle y things. Yes. Because it always amazes her as well. Right, so you're going to have all of your half square triangles and we're going to place them either side of the flying geese unit with the seams running towards the flying geese unit and the patterned against Got it. the yeah. flying geese unit. And again, we can chain piece all of these. I suggest you put them down on your mat with them facing the right way because it's very easy yeah. to turn them round the wrong way. How does that happen? How does that happen? Who knows? Um, Jimmy's going to try it tomorrow. What's Why that? wait, Jimmy? The, the flying geese yeah. method. Why wait? Crack on today. I was going to say do it now, but I was like, no, don't do it now. Stay and watch Stay and this. Watch. <laughs> Stay and watch. Watch it back. That's 
it's all very good. Karen, are you going to be late for the hairdressers? I'm just checking. I'm sure she wouldn't miss it for the... I don't know, Jane. Would you, what, what would you be late for if there was fabric in the offing? Mm, yeah, it's a hard one, isn't it? Yeah. It is, it is very pretty. It's very convenient for me because my hairdresser was next to the shop, my shop. So I just oh, okay. walk out one door and in the other. I still use that hairdresser. I love her. Charlie, she's wonderful. Is she the one that puts sparkly, sparkly stuff in your hair? Yes. Yes, she ah. does. Yeah. So just pop those back just to make sure that you've got them the right way around so that you're ready then to put the next ones on. You can do it, you could take it to the iron and press those all away, but you don't actually need to at this point. You could just sew the other side on. Right. It's so pretty, Jane. It's just so pretty. It does come together quite nicely. It's the cutting and the preparation probably that takes the, the time. But once you've got everything prepped, like you've made all your half square triangles, and your flying geese units, it comes together quite quickly. Good. Now, um, lots of people asking, will you be at Festival O Quilts? Gemma and I are going on Sunday, aren't we, Gemma? We are. So if you see us, come and say hello. We'll be really nosy and want to see what you've bought. <laughs> Don't be shy. We love a good gossip. Well, I do. <laughs> and <laughs> and don't be offended if we rummage through your bags. Yeah, and we'll and I I want to see what you've been buying because I'm always nosy and I love to see what other people have. Do you know what the chosen. very first time I went to festival of course it did take me by surprise, but I did have people just grab my bags and rummage through them and see what I bought. Yeah, and I wasn't expecting it, but it is actually a thing that people do. Yeah, I don't take offence now. In fact, I just open them. And go, do you want to have a look? Yeah, <laughs> just, just see what I found. See. See what I've got. Go on, have a look. It's just from over there or over here or whatever. So throughout Festival of Quilts we have got, and please do check out the newsletter because on Friday, my lovelies, we have got some beautiful Odile bolt ends. Now, when I say Odile bolt ends, this is the organic cotton, 50, is it 56 or 58 inch? I can just imagine SJ sat there with her head in her hands right now. Oh, I wasn't meant to say, was I? That's that secret thing we do. <laughs> Oops. Flipping <laughs> You know secrets with Tash, you should How know that by now. now. How long have you known her, Gemma? Oh, too long. Yes. <laughs> oh, so you're going to <laughs> final. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's it. That's it. I've told I'll you. I'll come gin I've tasting with you and then we're done. <laughs> warned you. <laughs> warned you. There we go. So you're going to have now four units that look like that. Jane, did you see her birthday card to me? <laughs> Did no, I don't think it? I did. She said, you drink too much, you swear too much, your morals are questionable. <laughs> and then does it say I inside, I was going to say, you're my kind of person. <laughs> Rude. Rude. Mm. Oh, bless her. Perfect card. That's nearly as good as the one about the toaster. I, yeah, the rest of that story, because, yeah, so I... <laughs> <laughs> Moving into my new flat, I did find the most beautiful matching toaster and kettle. And they are, it looks like they fabric, are fabulous. It? They are ridiculously fabulous. Um, and I got very excited about it. Gemma then found a card about saying, you know, one minute you're young and, one minute you're young and fabulous, the next you're excited about a toaster. Um, and your daughter found it, didn't she? And went, who the heck would need a card like that? That's so sad, Mum. <laughs> no one I know would get excited about a toaster. And she went, well, actually. <coughs> Yeah. You wait. Quite yeah, she's, she's, she's not even 18 yet. You should wait till she's got a house of her own. You get very excited about household items. It's a Laura Ashley toaster. Yeah. Who knew? You know, I'm going to have to paint all of the tiles in my kitchen white so that it just stands yeah, out. Yeah, it really stands out. Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, sorry, what were we doing? Right, so we're going to make... <laughs> <laughs> we've, done the, 
<laughs> Everyone's going to be so bored of hearing about my new home, but it's the first time I've ever owned a home. I've it's ever so bought exciting, one. though, isn't it? When you can yes. just do it all for yourself and, and do it how you want to do and it. And it's going to be small and perfectly formed, and poor Jean downstairs is tripping over my chairs that are apparently <laughs> in the courtyard, cluttering everything up. Oh I've just found out where some, well, two are. I'm still missing a couple. Oh dear. We'll find some more. Anyway, you're going to work. Jean's flat and find her sitting in fabulous chairs. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice colour, yeah, nice. I like those. Yeah. <laughs> Wonder where you got them. Yep. So the next part of this, this is this part which goes into the sides of the block, is made up of two units. So that's the first part. So you've got your flying geese units and your half square triangles either side pointing in, mirroring the shape of the flying geese unit. And then you take a strip of the what I'm calling the main fabric and two smaller squares and we're going to sew these onto the side, the short side of that rectangle again with the seams facing in towards the middle and this time we're sewing on the line. On the line. On the line. On the line. So we'll do one side and then we'll do the other. Um, I probably should have mentioned I'm going to be at Festival of Quilts Thursday. How are you? Yeah. I might come and annoy you uh, Sunday as I'm going. Cool. The only trouble with Sunday is that I will have the small people. The smalls. Well, they love a bit of festival, so you might not, you know, want me with you all the time. Because <laughs> they, they, last year was great because they had really wide aisles because yeah. of that. Well, big. somebody said that they're going, they're doing oh, similar. They're oh, keeping they? the aisles wide. They take, they've taken more space. Oh, excellent. Within the NEC so that they can still have the wider aisles. Because there are still some of us, you know, that are still a little bit cautious. Yeah. And, I'm, I don't, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. So we've sewn these on the line caught, um, and we get with the line facing in towards the middle of the strip. And then we're going to just trim that corner off quarter an inch away from the sewn line. Hang on, Elizabeth has just ruined my world. What? Is that true? She said, didn't Laura actually die from falling down the stairs? Did she? Yes, she did. Did she? She did. Did she? I thought she was still alive and designing beautiful things. Oh, no. gosh. She said, oh, heck, best of luck, very Jean. Long time ago. Very, very, long time. very long. I was told that story 20 plus, well, about 20 years ago. Yeah, yeah. she's been dead a while. Has she? Mm -hmm. Well, hang on, who designed my toaster then? Hang on. <laughs> Have I got it under false pretenses? <laughs> what? You can take it back? No. No. Beautiful. <laughs> Well, I mean, this is it. So, I mean, this is like when uh, when Lisa Chandler said, "Oh, Robert Kaufman's dead," so he won't mind how you pronounce his name. So, what? Well, who's designing under his name then? <laughs> the same people that are designing under William Morris, as I expect. <laughs> oh yeah, good point. <laughs> good point. Oh yes. okay then. Falling down the stairs. That's 1985. Not... 1985. Yeah. Oh my goodness, I hadn't even had my bedroom decked out in a in my Laura Ashley. Well, I had a whole Laura Ashley uh, out her bedroom. I did. In fact, 17th of September, so in a month. Oh crikey! Oh, yes. Because you know, um, my middle name's Kate. My mum and dad still call me Kate. She did a design which was very similar to the linen closet. Yes. Um, in pink roses called Kate. Oh. And my whole bedroom was done in Kate. Was done like that. Yeah. Lovely. So you've got this unit now, we've pressed those triangles, once we've trimmed them away, we've pressed them back to reform the strip. And we're going to join that strip onto the bottom of the half square oh, triangle. Nice. Very nice. Now I suggest that you put the, tri the, the um, flying geese unit onto the top, mm -hmm. because you've got here where the seams fall, you've got sort of like a quarter, an well it, it will be a quarter of an inch, but it's also like there's an X marks the spot, so if you keep your seam within that set of seams there, yeah, you know that your points are going to match up nicely. You watch me Beautiful. do this and my points not match. Oh, no, we're, we're, we're going to watch you do it beautifully. <laughs> um, Elizabeth said William Morris designed my toaster. Do you know what, he would approve function and form, yes. function and form. He'd have loved a, he'd have loved a toaster, wouldn't he, old William? I don't think they had toasters, did they? Uh, well, they should have done. I think they just had like toasting open forks. Fires. Yeah, toasting forks. She fell downstairs the day before her 60th birthday. Laura actually fell downstairs before her 60th birthday. The day before. The day before. Oh gosh. Two days before Emily's birthday. Yeah. Or um, Emily's birthday is tomorrow, if we're going. Yes, it's Friday. Me. You think Emily's birthday's on Friday? 
do you know what I did manage to produce in all fairness to me I did manage to produce both children on the 19th of a month just to try and make it easier for everyone to remember okay. thanks I'm not going to go for a third because it might not manage it and then it, you know I can't say that I've managed well Chain piecing these onto the together, joining those up. Yeah, I got it in my head that Emily's birthday was the nineteenth of August. Um, I mean, and so she was pretty super organised and brought card and present in because I wasn't going to be here on Friday. We've got to hide it, Jane, because otherwise she'll yeah, be she'll right see in it. that. She'll, she'll, she'll see, see her it. name. She can write her name now. Bless her, three years old and likes to write her name everywhere. My birthday card from her just had Emily written all over it quite a lot. That's lovely. It's so magical when they first start to write their own name. In fact, Jane, I'm going to throw it in so that you can show everyone. Yeah. Three years old and that's her writing. Look at that. Oh, look at that beautiful, is it a flower in the middle? I don't know. I've got it so you can show everybody on the site. There we go. Emily's, Emily's writing. You see that? Yeah. I think that's her with a heart. Yes. I'm Holding just going to assume. Holding a heart She and might have raided mine. Beautiful flower, I say that is, in the middle. I mean, it's something. It's lovely. It's just really nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's a treasure, isn't it? It is. God love The her. fact that she's made it herself as well, which is... She started... Oh. Mm. Dingly dangly do. <laughs> I can't ah. imagine where she got that from, Gemma. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I have no idea, gets quite cross if you say her name other than the way it should be, Inga. But she lets Emily call her. Emily gets away with everything, though. Yes, yeah, she does. Emily, it was Emily that sort of started it off because she couldn't say Inga and she started calling her Igna. Where's Igna? So it started on that. And then it sort of progressed, and now it's just got ridiculous, and she's yeah. just become um, Ingly Dingly Do, uh, which <coughs> sometimes she lets us get away with. Yes. She's so quite, she's I'm now going it. to Go press on, press these, and I'm going to press them so that the seam falls underneath the um, flying geese unit. <gasps> oh, Rose has finally picked up and uh, plucked up enough courage to start cutting up her Tilda solids quilt. <laughs> Um, I might have um, sewn a few of those panels today. Just saying. Lovely Izzy, who's um, oh gosh, we've got to wish Izzy good luck for tomorrow because she gets her A level results tomorrow. Yeah. Young Izzy, who started with us, um, she bless her. This is the first quilt she's ever made, but she's she put all the squares on the quilters grid, didn't she? Yes. yes. She and did. then and then. <laughs> She's like, I, c I haven't finished it today, so I'm going to take it home and do some at home because I don't need to do it here. Can I? I just need an iron, don't I? I'm like, yeah, if you want to take it with you, that's fine. So she took it, and then her boyfriend's dog got it and ripped the quilter's grid. <laughs> she's went, um, um, um. <laughs> you can imagine, can't you? First proper job out of school, and she's there going, ah. My dog get my quilt. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't even her dog ate the quilt oh, <laughs> to which we're all heart. like don't worry in fact Gemma right, you, you were like don't worry Petal <laughs> yeah you went super soft and gentle don't worry Petal it'll oh, be all right lovely. yeah I'll be fine it went straight down a line on the quilter screws Perfect. of course it did it gone I, I know I sewed it together today it was <laughs> fine absolutely fine there we go so, so don't worry if your dog eats your homework we'll all sort it out your block now becomes a nine patch Look at that, Jane, you're a genius. So with nine patches, you sew your three units together in rows of three and then sew the rows together. So just ensure that you've got your um, pop, uh, I was going to say poppies, they're not poppies, tulips facing <laughs> in towards... <laughs> Pick a flower, any flower. In towards the middle. And the reason that I pressed that seam going underneath the flying geese and this one going towards the um, red square is that when I place that on there, those seams will interlock. Amazing. And again, I've got this sort of X marks the spot. If you want to, can we go close up on this? Oh, always, Jane. You just have to ask. 
we just pop a pin in through that point there and that is where the half square triangle meets the square and pop the pin in in the same place there mm. you know for certain that they are going to match and you can then just pop your pin through along that seam there so when you come to sew them you know that they'll they'll be in the right place and you won't lose any of the points on your on your unit so I'm going to sew you can see then that's come together quite nicely and I'm going to sew the tulip on the other side of that one and it's again it's the same the same principle it's a beautiful thing you can do all of these rows this row you could do all of those so you could chain piece the one tulip to the one side and the other tulip to the other sides don't think that you've got to have them all in the same orientation because that row is the same as the bottom row it just is turned around so you could make them all exactly the same exactly the same oh, way perfect um, so it says how does jane make it look so quick and easy witchery <laughs> witchery but she did write it as well yes that helps isn't it but you see, that's why that's why we do the shows for yourself, so you can just watch it back and st st stitch along, stitch along at your pleasure. And I can highlight all the things that you have to be careful of. There you go. Jimmy <laughs> says it is easy; even a blind man can do the points. Yeah. There you go. I think it is about feel and touch. You did say earlier. Yeah, he says I yes. find points easy with touch. Yes, you can. You can feel it. You can almost yeah. feel them lock into each other. It's. Um, it's a nice it's nice when you've got your seams going in opposite directions and they do it's almost like they lock in click jane they click they do click wonder if we just overthink it then i think maybe we do yeah. it is funny isn't it when you take a sense away it's like with um with maud she would be the best behaved hound out but then on a day when there was any kind of visual impairment be mm. it that it was really raining or really snowing or just that dusk had just come when she lost sight that was it the nose would take over yes and she'd go yeah and i wonder if it's you know you you sent all the other senses well, they say that in, don't, don't they? they they say that your other senses are highlighted if you use hi intensified if you lose what use of one of them yeah yeah i do if it's true uh lo says that she is looking forward to receiving this one jane <laughs> oh jimmy says for those who do not know he is actually blind in real life oh that's, right that's that's how he knows oh well, then you can tell us then jimmy did you have you oh, sorry i'm really nosy have you always been blind or has it, been, has it been a deterioration? So would you know if your other senses were heightened or are you, is it just, you just, just is, because it just is. It's just what I'm you're really used curious. to. curious and I really hope you don't mind me asking, but I am really curious. It's good to know these things. It's quite a sensory um, thing, patchwork as well. So I should imagine that he finds it, you know, using his fingers to feel and, and get the seams and everything. I bet his patchwork is beautiful. But because it's really he'll stunning. Be, yeah. It says he's got a denim duffel for bag for that he made for when he goes fabric buying. Lovely. Yeah. Oh, morning, Sally Ann. So I've pressed the seams on this. The middle row, I've pressed the seams towards the square. The seams of less resistance, usually. And then the seams out towards the tulip. Mm. So again, when I place those rows together, those seams there are going to nestle against the square. Perfect. And probably because it's quite a long seam, I would put pins in just to hold it together and in place. Just to make sure that everything's, you know, lined up and nestling together. 
Oh, here we go. We have a reply from Jimmy. He said he was born with 5% sight. Oh, God. See, how do you even, how do you even assess 5%? Oh, this is so clever. Incredible. It is amazing, isn't it? Um, but it's deteriorated over the years and lost the left a week before his 21st. Oh, oh my, my goodness gosh. me. So, I'm, I'm, I've got all the questions now. Sorry, Jimmy, I'm so... Yeah, mm -hmm. you can tell me to butt out my own business. So, can you remember colour? Can you see colour? Because how would you describe a colour? That's very true. How would you do that? Is that how would you describe taste? Izzy turned around the other day, she said she does, she's never really had a sense of taste. I'm like, really? what? Yeah, there's something she just can't taste. Or is it smell? No, smell. Well, smell and taste are very connected. Yeah. What's that? But how do you even know that? She said, because other people smell things. And I don't. I thought, like, okay, that's fair enough. Yeah, I, I get all the questions in all the world. Sorry, Jimmy, just tell me to put out. It was none of my business. Morning, Adele. How are you? But I am curious. Very curious. Well, the thing is, you don't find out stuff, do you, unless you ask? No. And sometimes you make an assumption which is not the right thing to do. Um, I remember my, um, so my soon-to-be ex-husband's um, uncle Fred, after who Freddie is named, um, was a was a pilot in the war, and he got shot down over enemy lines mm -hmm. and ended up in a prisoner of war camp. Yeah, and everyone in his family was told you don't ask you don't ask on like you don't ask on don't Fred talk about, about it. About yeah. it. You, do, you know you don't you don't mention the war. Nobody told um, Stephen's sister's husband, so his, his brother-in-law. Who asked all the questions and all the words, and Uncle Fred was very happy to tell them yes. everything. And they're like, we've wanted to know for years. <laughs> and we've always been told not to ask. But Uncle Fred's been waiting, waiting. for to ask. <laughs> Miserable lot. Why are they not interested? Yeah. Didn't take an interest in anything. Because he played for Manchester City. His ashes are at Manchester City. But he broke his knee falling out of the plane. So he couldn't play anymore. So he couldn't play anymore. But no, his ashes because he'd played. He was. They, we were allowed to have his ashes at Manchester City. So Freddie supports Manchester City because of Uncle Fred. Very yeah. So there we go. This is the block together now. So you'll make four of these. I'm just going to get just that like that. Press. Just like that. Just like that. Not like that. Just yeah. Like that. You make four of these. And then it's a case of just joining them together with sashing strips. And the sashing strips are quite easy to, to make. The strips of fabric cut to the width of the block. Now, the block should be 16 and a half, but I do suggest that you measure it because everybody's seam allowance is slightly different. Mm -hmm. So give it a measure first. Yeah, look at that. You did the one on the left on a different machine and the yeah. one on the right on a different Just machine. Ever so slightly, slightly different. Slightly. That's slightly got a wider seat. Um, smaller seam, I expect. So, Jane, I'm going to blow your mind yes. whilst you look for your sashing strips. Uh, Jimmy says he doesn't have any problem talking about it, which is a relief because I'm a nosy cow. Um, but <laughs> a bit late, isn't it? I know, I know, it is really. Uh, but he says, I remember colours and colour has temperature. What? Wow. What? And he says it, it gives off a temperature and he's learnt the colour temperatures. Well, they say, don't they, that blues and greens are cools and reds and oranges and yellows are warm colours. Maybe that's where we get that analogy I from. I just thought that was just in terms of their hue. I didn't realise. I mean, of course, you know, like black as a, as a fabric, you know, if you wear black, it absorbs the heat. Yes. Which is probably part how of, of how... Oh, Jimmy well, Jim, you're going to have to tell us more about that. Yes. Sorry, I'm, this we're, we're fascinating we're, now. That's amazing. It is, isn't it? Forget the quilt. Yeah, forget this. <laughs> Just talk to Jimmy about how he does we, colours. Well, yeah, but growing up, we had a deaf piano tuner. Yes, the pi piano tuner. No, Jimmy did not. Right. We had a it's deaf a piano tuner and he did it. Oh, nice to God. My mum's piano tuner is blind because he says that because he's hearing. Which makes sense. Yeah. Oh, maybe he was, well, I, um, no, maybe he was blind and it was from the vibrations. <laughs> no, it was the vibrations. He did from the vibrations. Yeah, no, no, he was blind. No, he was blind. You're right, he was blind. <laughs> because he had a driver. 
<laughs> but but he said about the vibrations. I know there's vibrations in there somewhere. I've got that horribly wrong everywhere. Oh, Sorry, oh dear. Just upsetting everyone. Oh, I want to. Uh, <laughs> that was a bit wrong. Wasn't I it? was about was four. Little, little error. Try, try to. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, yeah. But no, oh. but I do know of one that does it from. Hang on. Which composer was went deaf? Was there one? Yes. Yeah, there was. It was Mozart or Handel, wasn't it? Yeah. So I, yeah. yeah. Maybe we'll get a Where's Margaret? Margaret? Where yeah, she's Margaret? on holiday. She's, she's away this. on holiday. Oh, hang on. So you're going to join these blocks together with your session strip in oh, rows. Yeah, so join Beethoven. 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 There we go. Pardon? <laughs> he was deaf by the time he was 45, 44, 45. Nice. Well, I suppose if you, if you spend a lot of time around that sort of noise, because he would have worked with orchestras and stuff, it's going to affect your hearing, isn't it? Started around the age of 28. Gosh. Mm. So we're going to join the blocks together oh, with session changing. strips. Yep. So you'll join a session strip to one side of the block and then join the other block to the other side, and then you'll put a session strip on either end of the two blocks. Gorgeous. And then you make a, a set of sashing that goes through the middle. So it's two of the sashing units, and this is where I've used the green oh, nice. paisley. So you'll make... Did you fussy cut? No, but you, you could. I just went for it, but you, you could. could. You could have some fun and, and make sure that there was a paisley in the middle of each square. So again, you would join your two sashing strips with a square in the middle and then add a square to either end, and you'll make three of those so once you've got your rows together you join your two rows together with your sashing strip and put one at the top and one at the bottom and that's what gives you the squares in the corners that sits like that beautiful everyone knew it was beethoven i'm getting beethoven confused with my piano tuner so my piano tuner was blind and beethoven was deaf there we there go. We go we've got we've got to the bottom of that one thank you everybody thanks everyone for knowing more than i do uh it's <laughs> I, I love our viewers, they know everything. And then we've got the borders are... Hang um, on, show us your borders, Jane. I haven't brought, I haven't got enough no, fabric the, left the, over, so on the quilt yeah, on here. The quilt, yeah. Four and a half inch wide width of fabric strips, 30... Let me just think about this, 38 and a half. I want four strips the same. And then we make the cornerstone that goes in. And, and you can see here, um, to width of fabric strips, the width of fat quarter strips. Right. So you'll cut one of these from your full width of fabric and then cut it in half. You sew them together along the long side and press the seams towards the red and the green. And then you're going to cut them up into two and a half inch choppity chop, choppity units. Chop. And you'll want four from each colour because you're going to make four cornerstones, but I'm just going to do one for now. Oh, morning, Marion. Oh, now it has been brought to my attention that today is judging day at Festival of Quilts. So good luck to everybody, everybody who's got their entered, quilts at festival. Yes. Jane, have you, have you ever entered one? No. Why? I am. Um, I've entered. I entered one at Utoxeter, one of my very first quilts. Um, I entered it at Utoxeter. And I knew that the quilting wasn't, because it was my, one of my very first quilts, and I knew that the quilting wasn't too. It was a bar jello. And I knew the quilting in the borders wasn't mm. particularly good and it probably needed a bit more quilting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you get a lovely critique, which some people are too scared to read and that's fine, but I was interested to see what the judges thought of it. Yeah. And they were they put very positive comments, um, you know, nice colours, good good piecing. It was a bargello, so I'd done the, the method I use where I do strips and then cut it up yeah. so the piecing yeah, yeah. Do, comes together lovely. But the one, the one critique that, that made me smile was, needs more quilting in the borders. Oh, and I, was like, I knew that. <laughs> yes, yes. You see, you should have tiptoed through the tulips there. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. So, you'll have cut all your pieces. Oh. Into two and a half inch segments. And you're going to take one of them and you're just going to turn it around. And you're just going to sew those together to make a four patch. And because you've pressed your seams towards the colour, the green and the red, 
when you put those together they will lock together. So when you sew those, and again you can chain piece these. Beautiful. Do you want more interesting facts? Rosina says, wow, it really does take a blind man to teach us about colours. Uh, I mean, yes, I'm absolutely blown away by this today. Um, Kenneth said that Beethoven uh, wrote Moonlight Sinatra when he was completely deaf at the age of 41. Yeah. 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 And it probably, again, he could probably feel the vibration of the notes because he'd yeah. know the notes by then, wouldn't he? So yeah, he'd be able to it. feel yeah. the, the vibration of them. So that's your four patch. So what you'll do, in, in pretty much the same way as um, you did the units on, on the, the middle square, mm. you'll sew two of your strips, your border strips, to the sides, and then you'll sew one of these four patches to your border, and again, making sure that the, the red is at the bottom, facing in towards the, the strip. Right. And then you'll sew those to the top and the bottom. And then if we go to the, the big quilt, you'll oh, see quilt, how that yeah. falls. So you can see I put these pieces on to the side and then the red is just facing in mm -hmm. towards the middle and that gives that lovely little effect there. So you add those onto the strip and then add those on after you've put the side pieces on. I've, o I've only, I haven't done much quilting in this, I don't think it needs too much but probably I should have done a bit more quilting in the middle, really. I, I've I got a tulip template at home and I did think about oh. using that but didn't have time really. So, But I've just quilted with it in the ditch around the shapes because I like the shapes and I wanted those to be accented. You could do an overall pattern on it but I didn't. I was a bit worried that it might detract from the pattern of the blocks. Cause sometimes that can happen when you put an overall pattern over, over a quilt. It I just loses think it's the beautiful. effect of the patchwork. And, you know, the secondary blocks, the patterns that you're getting from those tulip blocks is yeah. just gorgeous. Um, we have got a limited number of these kits available for you. Um, they are rather gorgeous. Not going to lie, love them lots. Yeah, um, but we have got the fabrics by the half metre. So that Karen can make dresses. Except that one has gone into all the kits, but the other four. Are they are available cool. by the half metre. So and they are, they are really beautiful. They're lovely. Mm -hmm. So do grab them. Our half meter heavens for those of you asking, because we've got some new viewers as well. And hello to all the YouTubers. Hello, YouTubers. Um, they go live at midnight tonight. Yes. Uh, so you will be able to get your hands on those. They are nine ninety nine per pair. So you get a half meter of designer and a contrasting fabric in plain. Yes. So that you know that you've got because so many pa fabrics uh, patterns just need something either to line or whatever it is. Yeah, and we've we've carefully looked at the the fabrics and chosen f colours that we feel blend nicely because it's very difficult when you're looking on screen to find the right cut plain sometimes. Yeah. So we've done it for you. It's yeah, it's really hard. Uh, Jimmy says he's going to put some of his um, some of his work on our page. Go for it. We'd love yeah, to see it. Absolutely. absolutely. We like to see what people have been making. Um, and we do have a community makes page as well, don't yes. we? So if you've been, uh, you can always email those into info. So that's it. Come no, hang on. I can go just go, just go straight community on. Community makes page page. Uh, and there you go. And up it goes. That's brilliant. It. That's rather fabulous. That's rather so, Jim, nice. yeah, you can feel free to pop them in there as well, so we can all have a have a good old look. Um, Jane, thank you. You're welcome. A stunner. Have you any idea what you're doing next week? Because I've only got Monday sorted. Well, we've got another lovely Annie's Quilts book that we're going to do something out of. Oh, brilliant! It's rather clever. Can you give us a bit more information? for children -ish, oh is it that one yeah. sorry i'm trying to remember which annie's quilt book it was <laughs> that one love that one yeah oh hang on i've just pressed the wrong button oh right sorry everybody <laughs> don't know what i've done ah um jane thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you uh kenneth says well done um and um 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 um, um yep yeah, so you can buy the fabrics individually you can buy the quilt kit if you're spending over 50 pounds before postage and you add in your free half meter fabric Check out with what code, Jane? Free half meter. There you go. And All we'll one word, no spaces. Yep, that. Um, and uh, enjoy festival f of quilts for those of you that are going. I'm there Thursday, possibly Sunday. Depends how much work I get done and how much I get distracted. Uh, <laughs> um, what else are we doing? And check out, yeah, so the bolt ends are being loaded as we speak. We've got 
Friday newsletter as well. Don't forget there are going to be extra ones in there. <coughs> um, and Crafty Corner. Keep checking out Crafty Corner because yes, we are constantly adding bits. beautiful sparkly things into our Crafty Corner, which is a new addition to the website for those of you that like to make stuff other than just sewing or just like to add a bit of sparkle to your sewing. Yes. Yes. There we go. Um, thank you very much, lovely Jane. Um, thank you ever so much, everybody else. I'm going to try and track down the rest of the chairs. Um, let's all go here. Non-stop. Doesn't stop, does it? No. Ever. Never a dull moment. But I'm hopefully, hopefully the sink won't explode again. Today. Hopefully hope that's one joy that is done for the day. I know. Let's hope not. I know. I um, don't want to, to go through that again. I was like, what happened? <laughs> I love it. Jane, Jane, just, Jane doesn't want to go through it. You just had to look at it. I know. <laughs> I, I had, had to, to clean, clean it. it yes. <laughs> well, I, was, I wasn't preparing myself to do it. I'm so glad <laughs> Natasha walked in when she did. <laughs> do you know what? No one's ever normally that pleased to see me. But Jane was quite relieved. Well, I knew I got quite a bit of prep to do. And I was like, this is going to take me a mile. <laughs> oh, it's all the fun. Oh. Right, everybody. Have a lovely rest of the day. We will hopefully see some of you at festival. We will hopefully see all of you on Monday. Take yes. care. Lots of love. Give us a wave, Jane. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.